Want to know what you'll look like at 70? Well, there's a science for that. <laughs> And welcome back to the lab, where we take your questions and turn them into experiments. My name is Mitch. And my name is Greg, and today we are talking about aging. But before we start, we want to remind everyone that our paperback book comes out in a few days on December 1st. It's cheaper, it's a little bit new, a little it's bit changed. Better New York Times yeah. bestseller, yeah, so what, what? <laughs> Make sure you check that out. We'll put links in the description. It's on the internet. It'll be in bookstores, so check it out. Did you know that there are parts of the world where they don't even keep track of their specific age? For example, they're like, I was born, I think, in the spring. <laughs> I mean, that might seem kind of weird until you realize it's also weird that in a place like Canada, you have to go around the sun 19 times before you can drink alcohol. The main reason that scientists keep track of age is that it's useful for making predictions. For example, 40 spins around the sun, and it's about time you should be getting checked for prostate and breast cancer. And for the average Canadian, your 81st spin around the sun is is usually your last. <gasps> dun dun dun! So today we thought we would age ourselves with some interesting software. Now, there are a lot of other apps and stuff out there that can age you, but what we're gonna use is something called April. Age Progression Image Launcher. Oh, you did it! We had trouble remembering <laughs> that acronym. <laughs> so essentially these are landmarks that will take this template face on the left and put it over Mitch's face to age it most accurately. <laughs> Ew. 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 You are like I don't have the best future to look forward to. So it's interesting that the sun exposure isn't really doing anything to my skin, but it sort of makes sense because if you have darker skin or black skin, you have sort of an extra protection from your elastin and collagen breaking down. But let's see then what I look like with smoking and weather yeah. and stuff like that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, you look so <laughs> much worse. Like, you really, really do. And also, like, don't smoke. Now let's go through the ages and see what you'll look like as a handsome 40-year-old dad. The exact same. <laughs> How about when I'm 60? So it turns out that I don't have the best looking future. I'll still love you though. <laughs> <laughs> You're so old. Kind of look like a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the photos of you like very stern, like I really am sensitive to the sun and I'm, even if I put on SPF <laughs> yeah. 60, I still burn. So, so like, let's do that one. Ah! Oh no. Why did you turn like I have you, I'm like blue. <laughs> Want to look at smoking? Ooh. Oh, so I'm, it's just way more wrinkles. Yeah, holy smoke. So he's got- Holy smoke. Smoked. Oh! Okay, we've been told that it, smoking affects the collagen and elastin in your skin, which that breaks down, which is holding your skin and making it nice and tight and beautiful. And so smoking has an effect. So clearly Helen Mirren right. doesn't smoke. Or she has plastic surgery. I don't know. She has like millions uh, of dollars. I don't know if she does. When will I be most handsome? When do you think? 32. I think you passed that age already. <laughs> I look the exact same. <laughs> I guess like you're I'll, almost I'll 32. Go, shut <laughs> up. Like 45. Between I have like two. furrowed brow mm -hmm. and like if I look like it's that when I'm 45, like, again, face. like sweet. Yeah. It's like how old is Brad Pitt? Pitt. I'm about 60. Oh wow, you did a big jump between 45 and 60. Those where, were where it falls those apart. Those were harsh years. That's when we, after our divorce. <laughs> Obviously, this is the our best guess. There's tons of factors in life that can change this. Maybe I work out a little more. Nice you know, both some cream for my cream for my face. <laughs> So we've seen what we look like using the April software, but we thought it'd be really interesting to see in person what we'll look like older. So we're gonna get some professional makeup done to Benjamin Button ourselves and make <laughs> us look really old. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like I look so old. <laughs> and like I'm dying. <laughs> that is so Ooh, yeah, I think. <laughs> 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 The concept of age is really interesting and in fact it's just a really great way for society and scientists to make predictions and also be able to understand what you know is supposed to happen to you and your health over time. There was some really interesting research where they found that if they looked at the genes in say your muscle tissue or your brain tissue, they could more accurately assess how old those parts of your body were biologically. But what we thought would be fun is see if we could do it the old fashioned way mm -hmm. and predict our age just by looking at our childhood photos. Oh my God, is this like a model <laughs> shot? What there is was, this? There was a time in my past, like 
50 years ago. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I was like going to auditions and stuff. Oh my God, so this is like <laughs> stage mint. Um, I think you're, oh my God. Wait, I was gonna say five. I think you have to be older than that. I think you are 10. <laughs> I think you are 11. I am 11. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that emo haircut. Okay, I think you're 16. No. 17. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> when I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, you look the same. And then you see these photos and you're like, oh god, what has happened to me? Uh, we're going to look like this in like no time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? Yeah, I think it was like Christmas trying to do like the pageant and like oh I was one of those like weird people who bring like at... myrrh. Oh my gosh, that's such a hard age. I think you are 14? Eh. No, uh, 15? Yeah, oh, yeah, 15. yeah, Okay. 15. <laughs> you look so different all of a sudden. Like <laughs> you have orange hair. I think that you are three in this photo. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. You know what would be interesting if we took our baby or youth photos and put them into April, like the Oh, the, the imaging software. Oh my God, look, see if we look if it now. Can, can predict what we look like <gasps> now. <laughs> <laughs> like, it kind of looks like me if I like did a bunch of drugs. Yeah. What's interesting is that softwares like this are actually used by agencies like MI6 or by agencies that are looking for missing children who might have been gone for a few years mm. or many years and then they want to project what they'll look like in today's age um, to help find them and see if they're still around. All right, my turn. But it, we should say that the software does recommend not to use photos where you're smiling, but I didn't really have any that were face on when I wasn't smiling. It still is like you. Yeah. But you look like- I look more like, a, I feel like I look like an ogre or something. <laughs> and at that point, missing teeth seems more normal. Right, yeah. true. Thank you for coming on this aging experience with us. Clearly these were just predictions and actually no, the true way we're gonna look, we're just gonna have to make it to 72.